guys, we're back here with another video and today it's a very special one. Today is the start of the BPL seasons, SPFL, SPFL Championship. It's the start today. My team, Dun United, are playing Queen of the South at Canadice in Dundee. Hopefully we can get a win. I'm guaranteed we will because, well, Queen of the South aren't that good. And, yeah, so... We've got Simon Murray, the big man, the big ginger man. Hopefully he can bang in some goals. We we'll also beat Cowden Reef uh, at Tanadai 6-1, was it? can't remember because I was away in Denmark. Oh yeah, this is my first video back. The Legoland footage, it corrupted, so I'm going to tell you a bit about that in the next video. Go and check my second channel out, it's called The True Terrors. This video is going up on that channel too. Because, well, this is about Dundee United and that channel's about Dundee United and everything. So, go and check that out. Subscribe if you haven't. Hopefully, that one will go as well as this one. So, I just want to talk to you about Legoland. Because I'm not really sure about doing a whole video about talking about it. So, chuck this away. Um, so, the first day I went to Legoland, where I was staying was one of the best places I've ever seen. It's probably better than a hotel. You know why? Because they had kittens. Kittens and a dog. And pigs called sausage and bacon. That was a highlight. So, here's a funny story. My little sister, she has this kitten. Well, a kitten that she loved. She had it in her hands. She was giving it a bit of sausage. And the kitten thought her, the sausage was her finger. So she bit the finger, she screamed like, ah! Her, she lifted her hand up, and my mum had to get her fingers into the cat's mouth to pull her out her finger because it was hanging. So she still went back after it on the day we left um, to say bye to it. And then, yeah, that's what happened with that story. Um, Legoland's really, really big. I would recommend, if you like building stuff, if you like building stuff and you like Lego, I would recommend to go there because, well, it's all all you want to see is in Legoland. I really wanted to see an airport. Well, we were right next to an airport there. Sorry about my hair. We were right next to an airport, like Billund Airport. That was huge. Maybe the same size as Edinburgh. I don't know. Um, but they. I was surprised that they made planes and Bill and Airport actually moving on the runway and they made Concorde. It was incredible. It was amazing. I loved it. I would go back again. Um, 64 million blocks used there. And if you've got a younger one, like younger than me, then I would recommend not to go because... I would recommend not to go to like, the haunted house because, well, my sister did not enjoy it. So you walk, I won't give up much away if you're going to go, but you walk upstairs, you've got Lego bats and everything jumping out at you. It's not that scary. It's just like, ah! and then you go up another bit of stairs and then there's ghosts talking to you and everything. And then you go downstairs and you go through to this bit. Now I got scared because I saw two girls running at the fire exit. I got scared because I thought that there some something had happened. So we got pushed into this bit and it was pitch black. You couldn't see except the seats. Now outside of this ride, there was many like free fall things for little kids. So it was like this, but for adults. I went on it, my sister screamed the whole way, I was like, I was, I didn't like peed myself. I'm going to get horrible comments on the, oh no, why did I say that? But, so I did that, I went on it, and it was pretty scary, because at the start they were talking to you saying, why the heck is he doing this? Why, what is he going to do to these young, innocent people? And then all of a sudden we just went up and then dropped and up, dropped up, and then dropped right down to the bottom. So, enough about Legoland. Ow. 
Enough about Legoland. I just have a floor. Enough about Legoland. Let's get to Town of Dice. Hopefully, see United win. Come on, United! <laughs> scored in the 39th 40th minute with well it was like a setup goal I didn't get it on camera but done I didn't get Dungeon United's one on camera too but Dungeon United's one this new signing van der Velden kicked over two people's heads twice and then finished it in the back of the net with a nice half volley so finished one all between Dungeon United and Queen of South and other championship games Hibs beat Falkirk in a massive game 2-1. Um, Dunfermline beat Ayr, was it? 4-3 in an amazing, exciting game. Um, what was the other one? Wraith Rovers won a comfortable 2-0. Oh, it was Dunbarton against Dunfermline. It was Wraith against Ayr. So, hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Leave a like. If you're new around here and if this is your first video, subscribe. If we could get it to five likes, I'll do the on Tuesday, which is a massive cup game against Partick Thistle. So, like, subscribe, and see you guys later.